Hey everyone, um, my name is Glenn Chisholm. I'm one of the founders here at Obsidian and uh, I'm also lead product. I'm here today to talk about OAuth and how it can be abused inside your environment. OAuth is a fantastic resource. It lets us connect other applications to our core applications. It lets us expand the value of these SaaS applications to get more business return. But it also introduces risk. And it introduces risk because we don't fully understand exactly what's happening. So, you know, what, what occurs in this situation is I have this user and they're going to authorize this third party application. As I'm going to authorize this third party application, I'm going to send a message to my core application that I would like this third party application to be authorized. So when that happens, what's going to happen is this application is going to make a request and that request is going to be these privileges. It's going to ask whether or not this app can access these things, this data, these behaviors, these functions in this core application. You're going to be asked that question. If you agree, now this application has access to your data and what's happening inside your environment. If that's an important business application like your marketing automation, like your sales automation, signature flows, that's a fabulous important thing. It allows us to do extend our productivity suites to give us additional security controls. But when it's abused, it becomes a problem. You get abused in lots of different ways. The first one is assuming this user here actually authorizes an app that we want. Every single one of these SaaS applications has different parameters, different applications that can be authorized, different applications that access different things. So what we really need to understand is what are we letting people do? We frequently see users allowing things like Amazon Alexa access to their productivity tools. That may be something that helps your organization, but if you don't have too many situations where you want Amazon Alexa being allowed to send email through your corporate platform, you've granted access to your corporate information to a third party application that happens to be a consumer app. Now you're relying on the security of your user's Amazon account to keep attackers out of your environment. You're also giving exposure to your data to an application to a service provider that you haven't told your regulators about and you haven't told your customers about. This can happen in all sorts of ways. The other possibility is that I can convince that user through a very, very simple phishing regime to authorize my malicious application. And that application doesn't need to be something that's completely new. It just says, I'm going to authorize this environment to connect to our core application and now I have the ability to stay inside your environment for a long period of time. And as I'm using this third party application, this data flow is not occurring through my network. It's not occurring through my control framework. I don't know what data is flowing and exiting my organization here. That's a critical problem. And then finally, even if this is a trusted third party vendor, a vendor that we've vetted, a vendor that we've allowed to access our data, we need to make sure that this trusted vendor doesn't themselves become compromised. And we saw this with SolarWinds, Sunburst, where the attacker compromised third-party vendors to access productivity platforms. It allowed them long-term persistence and invisible data exfiltration from these core applications. Obsidian not only understands what applications you've allowed in your environment, but how you configure your environment and we suggest ways to improve your security to reduce the risk of consumer applications, malicious applications. And then we monitor your environment to make sure that that core application that you do trust, that you have given permission to, doesn't steal your data, doesn't become malicious. And without Obsidian, you're blind. Thanks for watching. For more information, please look at our Lightboard series and uh, have a great day.